It's been a pretty slow and pretty disappointing offseason so far for Giants fans, but the offseason is not over yet. There are still some pretty big free agents out there, and reports are coming out that the Giants are expected to sign at least one top-end, perhaps Boris, client in the upcoming days or weeks before spring training. So this is exciting news. We'll look at some of the remaining free agents available, which ones are Boris clients, which ones are not. I really don't care if it's a Boris client or not. I just want good players. And so far, it's been a slow offseason. Yes, the Giants signed Jung-Hoo Lee. That's been a while now, almost a month since then. And okay, Tom Murphy, maybe a backup catcher. Uh, TJ Hopkins, a couple of guys here and there. Um, got some young talent like Dalton Jeffries. Really nothing major so far this offseason other than I would say Jung-Hoo Lee. But we already know what the Dodgers have been doing. And we know they've signed Otani. They've signed Yamamoto. And uh, if they sign one of these other dudes, we are in big trouble. And we're already in big trouble. So who's left as far as the free agents go? Who could the Giants sign? Who do I think is the most likely fit and the most likely signing, if any? Or will they miss out? Is this just a bunch of crap? Ben Caspic put out a tweet that Jeff Passan said, okay? Jeff Passan told Ben Caspic to tell me, to tell you, that one team opposing organizations expect to sign at least one top end Boris client, the San Francisco Giants, referring to Snell, Montgomery, Bellinger, and Chapman. Not surprising, just a very slow moving market. Boris clearly seeking high prices. So it's taken a while. So Snell, Montgomery, Bellinger, and Chapman are the four top free agents that are Boris clients. Another guy who I guess is not a Boris client. I don't have all the players. <laughs> I don't have all their agents memorized. Okay, just so you know. But one player who's not a Boris client is going to be Marcus Stroman, a solid arm. And I think if anything, the Giants really need starting pitching. Now, obviously, Snell is an option. Montgomery is an option. Could use another infielder. A little bit questionable at shortstop right now with Marco Luciano being the top guy, you know, a young prospect who we're just not sure how he'll do over a full 162. But we do know that the rotation is leaving a lot to be desired. As of now, with Logan Webb on top, Ross Stripling, okay, he was terrible last year. He didn't get a single win. Kyle Harrison is a young guy. He has some control issues at times. It's not for sure what he's going to do. And then you have Keaton Wynn. Alex Cobb is a guy who will show up and sometimes not show up. Alex Cobb is a, a four or five guy in the rotation. So this is not a rotation that's going to compete with the Dodgers. I'm sorry. So I really feel that if the Giants are going to add another one of these top free agents, they need to focus on the pitching. I'm not saying that I won't be happy to have Chapman or possibly Bellinger, although I think Bellinger is at risk because he's kind of a all or nothing guy he'll go out and hit 150 all of a sudden and just forget how to hit and so i know he's coming off a big year his agent boris is looking for a massive contract but let's just be honest bellinger is no guarantee at all i mean there's no such thing as an absolute guarantee but bellinger could easily come out and hit 180 with you know little power with striking out 250 times um so i'm a little bit iffy on bellinger Chapman would be awesome with that defense. Obviously, we have J.D. Davis, we have um, Flores, but you can shift guys around. You can make that work. So I would love to have Chapman as well. But I think Snell, Montgomery, and if you don't want a Boris guy, I wouldn't mind Stroman either. And if I had to pick one, though, I mean, let's be honest. We're talking about the Cy Young Award winner. Now, Blake Snell, also, he's just some good season and some not so good seasons but he's pretty damn reliable at the best era in the national league if i'm not mistaken i think blake snell is your kind of go-to <laughs> the guy that i would want but montgomery also had a solid era throughout the entire season at 3.2 but with the rangers it was 2.79 and 11 starts in texas there he was very solid he's a, a strike thrower limits walks and i love that he's not gonna strike out you know everybody but a very solid arm just either or Snell or Montgomery or possibly uh, Stroman 
would just do wonders for this rotation and that it would just the confidence would just skyrocket i think for giants fans going into 20 to, to at least have a decent 2023 have a chance to fight for a playoff spot because right now i just think that rotation is very very weak but right now if the giants don't sign it one of these four or stroman and we'll take a look at some of the top guys remaining Obviously, you have Bellinger. We mentioned Chapman, Snell, Marcus Stroman, Jordan Montgomery. Those are kind of the top guys. Reese Hoskins, don't know if we have room for him, but you make room for someone like that. Josh Hader would be sick to have a, a closer like that. Josh Hader, obviously, Giants have. Camilo Doval, you can never have too much good bullpen help. Um, Hader's still only 29. That would be sick. I'm not sure if the Giants are really in on him. I've heard rumblings about Harrison Bader. After that, you got Jorge Soler, who's like a full-time DH. I don't think the Giants are in on any full-time DHs, but Jorge Soler, 50 home run possibility, although I doubt he'll do that at Oracle. That'd be nice. After that, it kind of slows down. Tim Anderson, I think, is an option. I don't know if the Giants are in on him, but like I said, a shortstop's a little questionable this year. I'm not totally sold on Luciano. So um, then you got Kershaw. That'd be nuts, but hey, we did sign uh, Oral Hershiser back in the day, so crazier things have happened. But Kershaw is another arm that's out there. Jordan Hicks and some other um, lower free agents uh, still available as well. So um, but we'll have to see what happens here. But I'll be really disappointed if the Giants have to you know, reach way down here and sign one of these lower free agents who are, you know, still have the possibility. Like, Don let's bring back Donnie Barrels, first of all. But I'm just saying... All in all, like it, the rumors are that the Giants are going to sign one of these top guys. The Giants need to sign one of these top guys. If I could pick, I'll take Snell as the Cy Young Award winner. But Snell, Strowman, or Montgomery would be my. I, I just think for need need wise, um, those are the guys. Chapman's the and Bellinger are both higher listed free agents. But Giants lineup, it's not a juggernaut at all by any stretch. But the lineup is at least. You know, I, I, I somewhat solid if people stay healthy. The rotation, I look at the rotation, I'm like, oh, Lord, that ain't going to fly. So let me know what y'all think down below. Giants in on one of the top remaining free agents. Are the Giants going to sign one of these guys? What do you think? Or do we miss out on all of them? Let me know what you guys think down below. We'll talk to you next time.